The Perch Security Dashboard is a really useful tool for customers to log in every single day and get an idea of what's going on within their networks. Um, what's the threat landscape look like? Um, what is trending? What's going on um, within their organization? So I'm going to walk you through what we're seeing here. Uh, the first thing I always want to mention at the very beginning is Perch is a platform built for multi-tenancy. So there's a lot of use cases for this. Uh, but you can see right here in my demo account, I've got management over two different companies. So it's very possible and simple for me as an admin of both of these companies to um, move between the companies, see the open alerts that are um, individual for each company. And then also I can triage alerts all together on the Perch uh, dashboard and the alert dashboard. Uh, for all of my alerts together. So this is built for companies that may have a lot of uh, merger and acquisition activity. Uh, this could be built for SOCs that have management over uh, multiple companies. Um, for example, a, a managed uh, security service provider might be a good example of this. So I um, always mention at the very beginning of the demo the, the use case for multi-tenancy. Uh, the next thing you're going to see on the dashboard is escalated alerts and I kind of refer to this uh, right here in this school bus yellow uh, color and we <laughs> we sort of do that so um, you, you're gonna notice it it's not going to be something that's hard to find and so anytime uh, the perch sock escalates an alert to a customer it will always show up here front and center and there's a reason for that if you've got a few alerts open in the in the dashboard and, and the sock escalates something to you that is um, you know a red alarm or something really really important we don't want you to hunt for it we want it to be right front and center, simple to find, quick to get to, and so you'll always see escalated alerts right here at the very beginning of the, the dashboard. Then we can scroll down a little bit more and we see a lot of reporting information that's useful for a lot of different purposes. Upward reporting to board and senior management, um, uh, threat data that can be shared uh, across the organization for different use cases. And so the first thing we have here is a statistics, kind of a, think of this as like trending information. So right now I'm sorting over a month. We can change this data easily from, you know, week, bi-weekly, all the way up to quarterly for our threat data. And this statistic information just gives us, you know, how we've trended. So, for example, this month we've had 31 alerts, um, which is a 27% per uh, reduction from last month. So this can be really good to kind of get an overall view of what's going on in the, the time period that I'm sorting. The next thing that we have is recent alerts. And these are all time stacked from the most recent. And we'll dive into these later in another video. Uh, but this is where we can dive in and see the actual alerts and the intel that created um, the alert itself and led to this alert being generated. So we can dive into that, see the IOCs involved, um, and, and really take a good look at um, the, the analyst platform that lets us know um, the severity and significance of that alert. And then below this on the dashboard, we have a lot of other information. So we have a threat map that shows you the different threat communities that you are a member of and also other sensors across the uh, world that are in the same threat communities that you are a member of. You can see right here, I'm actually a member of a number of different threat communities, but my top four are showing up right here. And there's a number of ways that we can get to the rest of the communities. We can click on this view all button. And in another video, I'll walk you through adding new threat communities and how easy that is in the Perch platform, a very simple automated process. Then we can scroll down and we have a lot of uh, reporting data, a lot of um, uh, pie charts that kind of uh, show you and illustrate um, information, deeper information about your intelligence. Um, so things like how many true positives have we seen uh, per threat community, false positives, you know, what's our suppression ratio of, of true positives or what we call remediations to false positives within the, the platform. And then we can scroll down a little bit more and we get better information about uh, the sensors that are deployed within my networks. So you can see here in my demo platform, I've just got two sensors. Um, both of mine are showing an error um, because they are my demos. I bring them uh, up and down all the time. And we can see some network visibility, how many IPs that I'm monitoring uh, within, my, within my network. So currently over uh, this past month's view, we've, we've seen 55 IPs on this network, um, 17 on the 192 network, and, and so forth. And the other thing we, we show, and this is something that I think is pretty interesting, uh, we also aggregate here on the dashboard level um, current uh, hosts by the number of alerts they have. And so there's sort of this idea in security that if we have a particularly noisy host, there is a possibility that there is something uh, that is worth an investigation upon that host simply because it's 
it's out of band from what's typical for uh, a number of alerts that I might have on a host. And so we can see here, this particular endpoint has 16 alerts over this past month. Uh, that should give any IR team reason to pause and say, hey, we should jump into this one. It's definitely something uh, strange here by based on nothing else other than the, the volume of alerts. So this is a walkthrough of the dashboard. It's very useful sort of for a uh, you know one-time view uh, to log in once a day or to keep up on the SOC dashboard, um, that sort of thing for, for companies.